what's up guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today we're going to be hopping right into this basketball purse diy first we're going to get into all the materials you'll need for this project they're going to pop up across the screen and they'll also be listed in the description box below all right now for the fun part so my ball belonged to the streets before I found her. She was living a dirty life, but of course she wants to change it around in 2021 like everybody else and get herself cleaned up and ready to start her new life. Okay, in order to clean my ball, what I did was mix a concoction of different household cleaning products, dish detergent, all of that, a little bit of that I think it's Ajax, I think it's, it's blue, it has a little bit of bleach in there, scrubbed her, scrubbed her, scrubbed her, uh, took her to some counseling, and finally she was ready to be committed to her new life. Alright, since now all of her emotional baggage has been stored away, we are ready to go ahead and get the zipper on her. So what you're going to want to do here is make sure that you're following the line. Um, this basketball had one, but I've tried it on a leather ball and it did not. You just want to try to measure it to make sure that you have enough space for your zipper to fit in there snugly. Okay, so then you take your measurements for your zipper and you want to pin them down to make sure you are cutting enough space for that zipper to fit in there comfortably when you're ready to sew it after you've cut the opening for your ball. I have measuring tape here and I'm just gonna measure the length and the width of the zipper so just to make sure when I'm cutting it I have cut it properly and our hands don't get scratched up when we go to open up the ball All right, now after you just took all your time to get those pins inside of that zipper, we're gonna just take them right out. That's all we're gonna do, take them right out and get ready to cut into her. As you can see, she was being quite stubborn. She wanted to bring up the past and everything like that, but we're not having these struggles like we were having in 2020. We are going past this, we are glowing up, we're going further. Now we're just gonna cut away all of her stress and heartache and make some space for that stimulus check. Okay, and one more time, we're gonna just lay the zipper down and make sure that we have enough space before we cut it. I cannot stress that to you guys. You don't wanna make your opening too big or too small here. So make sure you are checking it and double checking it again. Because once you, once you go ahead and sew it down, it's there for, for good. Unless you have a seam ripper. Then you could just seam rip it out and start over. Okay, now we're making those side incisions to again cut that wider space open for the zipper to fit in. Okay, so what I did for this side um, to really get that space for the zipper is I went through and followed the lines on the basketball because if you see those little, little tiny dots, they go in rows. So just make sure you're following the lining of those rows to make sure it's straight and clean cut. Okay, 
Now we're gonna get ready to put in our inside straps. So again, I have just marked off with my little pins where I want the strap to lay after I measured it with the strap itself. And we're going to take our leather hole punch and punch in those holes. With your leather hole punch, make sure you're getting it nice and solid. You should want your hole to look like this. If you should be able to see right through the ball so then your D-ring could fit in there comfortably. Excuse me while I struggle with this D-ring. <laughs> and then we're gonna go ahead and put it in once we've gotten it unscrewed. Make sure you're screwing it back on there very tightly. All right, now for the side of the ball, which is where our longer strap will hang, I've just bent her and made her fit into the hole punch. Once we've created that hole on the side, what I'm gonna do is just take, if you have a leather, um, usually they come with a leather punch, but I cannot find mine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take my seam ripper and make that hole a little bit wider because we are using different D-rings than we did previously. These D-rings are a little bit thicker and a little bit heavier. So they better match the purse strap. All right, for that inside D-ring, we wanna really make sure that we have it down and ready to go. So we're gonna take a screwdriver and make sure to tighten her up, make sure she's good to go, make sure that she's not sliding through life and slipping off. Now time for that zipper. I had the option between an all red one and a white and silver one. I chose the white and silver one for her because it just makes her pop. Okay, and now you just wanna line up and make sure that zipper is uh, meeting the surfaces and you're able to put both sides underneath it so you can zip it and unzip it properly. So honestly, the zipper is the hardest part. As you can see, I struggled a bit with uh, holding the zipper in place before I can sew, but that is something that is very important and you wanna make sure you can do it. Um, what I did off screen was I was able to get the ball down and you can also use some E6000 glue to hold it in place with some clips overnight just to make sure it's still and steady so it'll make it easier for you to sew the zipper down afterwards. Um, but that's what I went on ahead and did and make sure you're using the clear nylon thread. Also when you're sewing the ball down you want to do a back stitch as clean as possible. With that nylon thread, it makes it so you can't even see it, um, and that's what you're going for. If you don't know how to do a back stitch, I've linked some videos in the description box below that you can check out. All right, now she's looking good. She's feeling herself. Go ahead and strap Shouty up, and <laughs> she's almost good to go. Go out and do hood rat stuff with her friends, you know, turn up.
all right. She's done and ready to go. Ready for a night on the town. And she's keeping this turn energy all 2021. All right, guys. Now that you've made your basketball purse, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.